Comparing a Table and a Graph, Lesson 6.3b. We can compare functions that are presented as a table and a graph. We find the unit rate of the table using the given x and y values with the slope formula. We find the unit rate of the graph by using the rise over run or the given x and y values from two points as ordered pairs with the slope formula. We compare their unit rates. By writing each slope with a denominator of 1, that would be writing it as a fraction, we can find the unit rates for the functions. If we have the ordered pairs 2, 20, and 6, 32, we do our slope formula and find the unit rate for the function. So here it's telling us to compare the unit rates of the table and the graph. First thing we do is find the unit rate of the table. We take two pairs, so this is going to be my second pair, this is going to be my first pair. We do the slope formula, so we have 112 minus 56 over 4 minus 2. We get 56 over 2, which simplifies to 28 over 1, so we have our one denominator. Now we find the unit rate of the graph. We pick two points, so I'm going to use this point. We have a 2 and a 60, and... From 1, we've got this point here. We've got a 1 and a 30. We do 60 minus 30 over 2 minus 1, and we get 30 over 1. We have our 1 denominator. It would be very easy to also pick these two points and just find the rise over the run. Since each of these represent 10, if you look at the scale, it's going 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. That would be 10, 20, 30 over 1 just like we have here. The unit rate of the graph is greater. We've got a unit rate of 30 over 1 versus the table of 28 over 1. So this unit rate is greater. Here we have a table and a graph, and they show how many hot dogs Sam ate and Dave ate at a hot dog eating contest who ate faster. First thing we do is find Sam's unit rate of the table. We choose two points. Here's point one. Here's point 2. I'm going to use the slope formula to do 8 minus 4 over 4 minus 2, and I get a slope or a rate of change of 2 over 1. Now we find Dave's unit rate of the graph. We find where they intersect, so I can choose 8 and 15 as a point, and I can choose 16 and 30 as a point. So here's 16. Here's 30, that's another point. Now, these are skip counting by fives. So I could do the rise over the run, or I could use the slope formula. We have m is equal to 30 minus 15 over 16 minus 8. That gives us 15 over 8. And when I do the long division to divide 15 by 8, I get... 1.875. We're going to have 1.875 over 1. So we're comparing 2 over 1 to 1.875. That's not quite 2. So Sam ate 2 hot dogs per minute. Dave ate 1.875 hot dogs per minute. Sam ate a little bit faster. Okay, now we have a third contestant. We have Bob, and he ate 2 and 2 tenths hot dogs per minute. How would a graph of Bob's contest results compare to Sam's and Dave's? So Sam had a unit rate of 2 over 1. Dave had a unit rate of 1.875 over 1. And now Bob is 2.2 over 1. That's 2.2 hot dogs per minute. Well, Bob's unit rate is greater than Sam's and Dave's unit rate. So Bob's graphed line would be drawn steeper than their graphed lines. Sam's graph would be in the middle, and Dave's graph would be the least steep. Since Bob would eat zero hot dogs in zero minutes, his graph would go through the origin, zero, zero. In fact, they all ate zero hot dogs in zero minutes, so all of their graphs would go through the origin. Since the graph of a proportional relationship is a line that goes through the origin at zero, zero, all three of their graphs would be proportional. They ate zero hot dogs at zero minutes. We can see the graph for Bob. He's the brown graph. 
we can see the graph for Sam, he's the purple one, and for Dave, he's the lime green one. And we can see Bob's is steepest because he ate more hot dogs in one minute. Dave's is the least steep because he ate the fewest hot dogs in a minute. Now here's Sam's table. This is his data. In two minutes, he ate four hot dogs. If you look at the table, we've got plus two, plus two, plus two, plus two. And for the y values, we have plus four, plus four, plus four, plus four. That's a constant rate of change. We can also take two points, like this point and this point, and do the slope formula to find the rate of change is two over one. Then take these two points with the slope formula, find that it's two over one. Take these two points and find that it's two over one. And take these two points and then again find it's two over one, which is a constant rate of change. All the slopes are the same. Since there's a constant rate of change, we know from the table that the relationship is proportional. Remember, some equations can be rearranged to be written in slope-intercept form. If we see something like y is equal to negative 5 plus 2x, well, we can add in any order. We're adding a negative 5 plus a 2x. We can switch them around. Remember that negative goes with the 5, so we have 2x minus 5. This is a positive 2. See that? And if we have y is equal to negative x plus 3, remember, there's an invisible 1 here. We have negative 1x plus 3. So we have our slope and our x value. If you don't understand this, go back to video 6.2c, which is linked in the description, and I explained it in there. Okay, we finished part B. We're moving into part C, comparing a graph and a description. I want you to remember, if you ever get lost, to go back several videos and regroup and move forward again. Each of my videos build upon a previous video, and they keep building and building and building all throughout the playlist in order. Have a great day, and join me for Part C. Bye!